So maybe you've just received Stadia as a Christmas gift, or you just need help setting it up in general. Either way, we at Stadia Source have compiled a list of things you can try to ensure you get the most out of your Stadia experience. Now let's get right into it. As you may already know, there are multiple ways that you can play Stadia, and getting the perfect setup for each will vary from device to device. Let's cover each of them in turn, starting with the Chromecast Ultra. First and foremost, it is worth mentioning that the Chromecast Ultra comes with a power adapter that has a port for plugging in an Ethernet cable. Whilst it is entirely possible to play over Wi-Fi, you should always take the option of plugging in said Ethernet cable if it is viable for you to do so. This will ensure that you get the best speeds available to you. Now, we know it isn't always easy to have a wired connection to your router, so let's cover some things that you can do to make playing over Wi-Fi as efficient as it can be. If your router supports it, you should ensure that you are using the 5 GHz network. You may need to consult your router's manual to enable it, if it isn't already enabled. Next, let's look at what you can do on the Google Home app. Now, you should have downloaded the Google Home app from the Google Play Store, as this is what is required when setting up Stadia in the first place, so we won't be covering that here. In the Google Home app, select your Chromecast. Now click on the cog icon at the top of the screen. Now if you scroll down, you should notice such options as use 50Hz HDMI mode. Try toggling this off and on to see which one gives you the best results, as this may vary depending on what type of TV you're using. You'll also notice an option for video smoothness. Again, try toggling this off and on to see which works best for you. Further down, you'll notice the option to automatically turn game mode on. Now again, this is dependent on what type of TV that you own. If your TV allows it, the Chromecast will automatically turn on game mode. However, if it doesn't, you may need to check the settings on your TV to make sure that game mode is enabled. What game mode does is reduces some of the latency between your TV and the Chromecast, meaning the delay between your controller inputs and what you see on screen will be much quicker. As with the other options though, game mode is optional, and you'll need to test it to see which one gives you the best result. Now, there is also another thing that you can check, and that is whether HDR is enabled in your Stadia app, as this could cause problems if you're using a monitor that doesn't support it. From the Stadia app on your mobile phone, press on your avatar icon in the top right corner. Then choose display. From here you can toggle HDR on or off. Try seeing which one gives you the best results. You may need to restart your game if you are currently playing something for the changes to be applied. Next, let's look at what you can do to make gaming on the Chrome browser better. Right off the bat, I'm going to suggest that you download something called Chrome Canary. This is basically a version of Chrome that is updated more regularly than the standard app. Besides the icon, there isn't too much difference between the two, and you should still feel right at home using it. When I switched to this, I noticed a massive difference in the smoothness of my gameplay. Another thing you can try, which works on Google Chrome and Chrome Canary, is disabling hardware acceleration. To do this, click on the three dots in the top right corner and then click Settings. In the search bar, type Hardware, and it should be the third option along. Toggle this option on and off and see which results work best for you. If you're playing using mouse and keyboard, you may want to disable mouse acceleration as this can cause the controls to be a bit jumpy. To do this in Windows 10, simply head on down to the start button and click it, then start typing the word mouse. Click on mouse settings, then in the top right hand corner click on additional mouse options. On the tabs at the top click on pointer options and toggle enhance pointer precision on or off. You may want to turn this back on again if you are not gaming. Another option is to change the quality of the stream using the Stadia app. It is also worth mentioning that this too affects the quality of the stream when using a Chromecast as well, so it can be applied to the previous section too. In your Stadia app, click your avatar in the top right hand corner. Then scroll down to data usage and performance. From here you can choose between best visual quality, balanced and limited data usage. These will affect the quality of your stream, meaning devices that are struggling to keep up will have a better time doing so. It can also save you precious data if you're capped on your internet usage. And finally, let's talk about mobile gaming. If you're using a Pixel phone, you may want to make sure that you're gaming over a Wi-Fi connection as opposed to LTE. Not only will your gameplay be choppy if you're on the move, but a load of mobile providers don't provide unlimited data usage. And that's about it for now. 
Try utilising everything you've learned here today and seeing which methods work the best for you. If you need additional help, feel free to ask questions in the comments section, on our Discord or on our website. Links for which can be found in the description. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and share this with your friends if you think they need it. I've been Dan from StadiaSource.com and I'll see you on the next one.